Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be very exciting because we are going to be doing a walkthrough of Good Notes 5, which was recently launched in the new year. So I'm really excited to show you guys what's new and what's improved. So let's get right into it. So this is what you see when you first open the app. It does look quite different from Good Notes 4. Now, first things first, if you guys are wondering, there is no audio recording feature available on GoNotes 5. So I just wanted to get that out there in case that was the burning question, because I know a lot of people were looking forward to it. So yeah, there is no audio recording on GoNotes 5. When it comes to starting a new document, you have quite a few options, such as directly opening up an image, taking a picture, or importing other files. You also have the option to quickly start taking notes without having to go through the notebook customization part. Something that I'm really glad they added is the ability to create folders and then more folders within folders. So I can see a lot of students using this function because it really just addresses our needs for organization. So as you can see, there's so many different types of ways you could go about the organization, but it just keeps your notes and kind of topics of focus in class nice and organized. So to start a new notebook, you just press new and then go to notebook. In GoodNotes 5, you have a larger variety of notebook covers and paper templates to choose from. They have also added the ability to choose a landscape layout for your notes. And I think a lot of people will appreciate this because I know this is one of the concerns with GoodNotes 4. While template sizes have stayed the same, you can now easily pick between white paper or yellow paper for your notebook. And actually, GoodNotes 5 comes with a lot more paper templates to choose from. Most notably, they have some monthly planners and also weekly planners, which is really awesome because I know a lot of people use digital planners. So just having that template there is just very convenient for a lot of students and people who like to plan. As with paper templates, they also came out with a lot more new notebook covers that you can choose from. These designs are definitely a lot less boring and way more appealing. And you can also choose them in the landscape mode as well. Now, before you even create your notebook on the same screen, you can also choose the main language that you want GoodNotes to recognize. So let's go ahead and create this notebook. Now, if you just saw me scroll vertically, you're not seeing things. GoodNotes 5 actually comes with the option to scroll vertically or horizontally. What's awesome is that you can actually quickly switch between the two while you have the notebook open. So I'm just going to go over all the little icons on the top just to show you what's changed and what hasn't changed. So the first icon here, like GoodNotes 4, allows you to see all the pages that you have in your notebook. You can also quickly access any pages that you might have bookmarked and also any outlines that you might have imported into your notebook. Next, you have your search function. So this can be used again to search up text in your notebook or also your handwriting. This icon here allows you to bookmark pages. So these pages are gonna be the ones that show up in your favorites when you press the first icon. And then of course you have your share icon that will allow you to export your pages, your whole notebook, and also print your notebook. The first icon in the second row is your zoom window tool. So by activating this, you can have really flowy and effortless writing like in GoodNotes 4. So next to it, you have your pen tool. And not only do you have the fountain pen and the ball pen, but you also now have a brush pen, which is a thicker and more pressure sensitive pen, like what you would see in Notability. Like GoodNotes 4, you still have the ability to customize your palm rejection and choose which stylus you're using. You will also notice on the right side that you now have a mini palette of colors to choose from instead of having to go in every time you change the color. So that makes it for very convenient switching between colors. And I will demonstrate how to use this later in the video. Next to the pen tool is the eraser tool. And what's new about it is that now you can choose to erase highlighter only. So I will demonstrate this later. The option to clear your page can now also be found under the eraser tool. Now the highlighter works in the same manner as the pen, except you only have one pen type. As well, I forgot to pull it up on the screen here, but you do have the option to turn on highlight in a straight line, which I will demonstrate later as well. And again, you do have the assortment of colors to choose from on the right side. Now the shape tool I found has changed quite significantly compared to the other tools. And then of course you have your lasso tool. The picture icon next to it allows you to quickly import any photo from your gallery directly onto the document. You can also take a picture with your camera and that image will be directly pasted onto the document. And then of course next to it is your text box function. On the top right you have your undo and redo, the plus sign which helps you add more pages or change your template, and then you have presentation mode. And then the three dots leads you to further options. So let's start talking about the writing experience. So as I mentioned before, you have your mini palette of colors on the right side, and those are your preset colors. And again, they are really easy to change. 
They work just like they did in GoodNotes 4, so all custom colors. Only now you'll find it a lot more convenient because the colors that you're using are right up there so you can easily switch between the color when you need to. You can also set three different brush sizes for your pens. You can't actually save these presets, so if you do happen to change one of the presets to another size and you want to change it back, you would have to manually slide it to that size. So I'm going to demonstrate the three pen types. So with GoodNotes 5, apparently they improved the ink algorithm so that it's sensitive to speed. I do think that my writing felt smoother when I was writing for each pen type. However, I don't think that it is that significant of a difference from GoodNotes 4. Now I mentioned earlier that with the highlighter, you can now choose to draw in a straight line. So this is what I'm showing here. So now you can just neatly highlight without having to also activate the shapes tool. Now if you want to just erase the highlighter, all you have to do is just go to the eraser and turn on erase highlighter only and then now you can kind of erase over your text and only the highlighter will disappear. The lasso tool works very similarly, except this time around they actually added the function to rotate whatever you've selected, which wasn't possible in GNOTES 4. And again, converting to text works very similarly to GNOTES 4. So with the shape tool, if you wanted to draw a straight line or a circle or a square, you would have to activate the shape tool instead of using the pen. So it is basically like a separate pen that is exclusively used for drawing shapes and straight lines. I found that the strokes and the circles that I drew always somehow ended up a little bit uneven. It does give it a little bit more of a realistic look, but I do have to say that I prefer the shapes tool in GNOTES 4. Also, another option that you have now is to draw shapes that are filled with color. You would draw the shape and then if you press undo, the outline of the shape would be erased and you would be left with a shaded area. So as I said before, you can easily drag and drop images from your gallery using the picture icon there. You still have the option to drag and drop pictures from the internet just by using the split screen setup. So I'm just going to quickly show you the text box function, but it hasn't changed too much from GoodNotes 4, so I'm not going to go in depth with that. Once again, GoodNotes 5 has great handwriting recognition when it comes to searching through your own notes. And then of course you have these settings that are really up to your personal preference, whether you want a status bar on the top, whether you want to pull to add a page, the toolbar position, opening documents as new tabs, scrolling direction, and of course you still have the option to do automatic backup. Now last but not least, if you are a previous GoodNotes 4 user, you can import all of your notes and documents from GoodNotes 4 into GoodNotes 5. So it makes your transition to GoodNotes 5 really easy if you are considering using GoodNotes 5. And all of your documents from GoodNotes 4 will still be fully editable in GoodNotes 5. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Thanks for watching!